Cor, er yn geidaw sy'n 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 mae wyk sy'n gwaal, le bar yr un ac y sy'n i'r yn asate, a geid yn digr y sacr i'n coer yn siawn. Lys na gardi, fwyr yn y casla blaen y tlia, agos na ddyn i gileir ar y bwynt y carfad, lys yn fiatas ar ma han, agos a hap tach i'r dyn y fiwnt y si, a gwyr y mwyd o sgor yn ffabl. Fiwnt y si, lan y he ar yn goffr y miant, agos tafod na gofar tiota, ni hawan i ddim star y rhain i ddacht am talc i y cam i dda crwyd y teile. Agos da wynt yn y her yn y gam wynt y sôn crwy, Hwg sydd yn cyn o tachio dy hwrt yn ffys, a gweir yn fiatas yr mae hon rhongo agos glacen, neis a dachio, gwhwl a thlyd diagrys. I want to acknowledge the offer of public service that my fellow candidates have made in standing for this important role as President of Ireland. There are so many to thank. As an independent candidate, I was deeply moved by the support I received from people of all political parties and their spokespersons, those from part, no, who are not of political parties, and from every strand of Irish life. I am, of course, so grateful to my campaign team, every one of whom brought their own experience and their diverse sources of commitment to work together on what were shared values. And I'm very much looking forward to being able to thank them all just a little later. <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I also want, of course, to thank my great partner in all of my public life, Sabina Corn. sustainable communities, sharing history, shaping the future, a 
and Ireland's voice matters. I have also set out three implementing initiatives to reflect and give practical manifestation to these themes. Participation and transformation. Imagination of the nation. And shared Ireland, shared Ireland. And the next seven years will offer opportunities to do things in new ways, including everybody. And that requires identifying and facing exclusions and more than just eliminating barriers. It means the exercising of new invitations. A real republic is a republic of equality, of shared vulnerabilities and of collective capacities. A real republic is one where every person is encouraged and supported to participate fully and where every person and community is treated with dignity and respect. A real republic is one which constantly finds new ways to sustain, empower and strengthen our communities, supporting those who are thinking local and thinking long. People at home and abroad speak to me about the need for example, to rebalance environment, economy and society, and the need to ensure that the new technologically driven changes are harnessed in a way that has universal benefit, rather than creating new forms of inequality. That our shared future be one of sustainability and decent work, a future that acknowledges a duty of care. Our people want to see security and shelter, housing that can be a home, as part of a healthy community. We are in a time of transformation, and the Presidency, through its direct representation of and direct conversations with the people of Ireland, is an independent space where new ideas and possibilities can emerge. The Presidency can bring together the different strands of our nation, past, present and future. And the coming years will see the commemoration of challenging, often difficult periods of our history. This task will require sensitive thought, reflection and understanding, an ethics of memory and a narrative of hospitality, enabling different versions of shared events to be placed side by side, uncomfortable truths to be acknowledged. But we must also face the future, above all with inclusion and creativity, crocking it. For example, I would like to see the commemoration of the foundation of our democracy spark a debate about the values, the the principles required in today's Ireland. We will in 2019 celebrate the democratic program of the first stone. We should use it to return to looking at our institutions and consider how they serve our values now, how old people will participate in decision making in Ireland. And over the next seven years, I will also represent your voice, Ireland's voice, as we face challenges that are global, responding to climate change and sustainability. The challenge of global hunger in a way that is sustainable, Brexit, trade, a fragile multilateralism, and the urgent need to end the scourge of violence against women cannot be deferred but must be ended now. institutions. This is a time to be active rather than passive, and clear choices are opening up as to what will be the character of our Irishness. Will it be a commitment to inclusion in a shared world, or a retreat to the misery of an extreme individualism? The people have made a choice as to which version of Irishness they want reflected at home and abroad. It is the making of hope they wish to share rather than the experience of any exploitation of division or fear. The people at home and abroad is one which draws on traditional genius and contemporary creativity, 
deep connections and new solidarities, respect and transformation. The presidency belongs not to any one person, but to the people of Ireland. I will be a president for all the people, for those who voted for me and those who did not. Because I am so proud of our country, I am proud to be a president for all of you, and with all of you. And I look forward with joy and hope to all that we will achieve together. Davar shan beshi ma prithyedam, ma la ni helayene veror san, ma rukta ra meherin. Mila Quintus, my dear son.